Brooks and I to Queens because um, I got a big Tibetan population there. But having them here, they're super good. We got the chicken one, which is like steamed or boiled. Um, and then we also got a bowl of beef noodle soup and um, some beef momos as well. We squirted like some soy sauce on them and then also this really potent chili oil that they're famous for here. It is so spicy. It is definitely spicy. So everything is really good and this meal was pretty affordable as well. Enjoying some kind of dry in Canada. So this is supposedly where the speakeasy is. It's supposed to be at a barber shop. And I noticed this little neon bar sign. Ooh, here's a sign. Gift shop bar. Wait at the door, someone will come and get you. Just walk in without waiting, you'll be told to leave. Okay. After the drinks, I decided that I wanted boba because the cocktail that I got was tasted like a chocolate milkshake. It was so good and then I started just craving another dessert but then I didn't want to get another cocktail because still gotta work tomorrow and y'all know I'm obsessed with boba so I was like let me try this chain in Toronto or maybe in Canada called Cha Time and it's so bomb. Mm, I got the golden lily milk tea, nice sugar, less ice with boba balls mm. and it tastes so amazing. I thought it, I didn't expect it to be this good. It tastes like really good tea, actually, like really good Taiwanese tea. Mm. Good morning, friends. It looks like I'm at a cool museum or some kind of cave-like space, but I'm not. I'm actually in a coffee shop. Having a hoji cha latte. So good. We didn't have the best luck this morning trying to find a cafe to work at because there was no Wi Fi at the first one that we went to. It was super, super cute. Unfortunately, couldn't go there because our main purpose is to work this morning. And now we're at another coffee shop that has an hour limited Wi Fi, unfortunately. But it's okay. We're going to make the best, the best out of it. And then after this, we're going to um, go to a market nearby. It's called the St. Lawrence. Farmer's Market in Old Town, Toronto, and check that out. It has like a bunch of vendors, fruits, vegetables, good food, artists, and stuff. Um, and then continue to work for the day. But today's Thursday, so it's our last day working for the week because we have tomorrow off. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try to do as much as I can today in Toronto. Finish at the cafe. I'm 
unfortunately it cut us off right at the one hour mark with the Wi-Fi. So we essentially got kicked out. Now we're walking to the St. Lawrence Farmer's Market where we're gonna check out and see what kind of local stuff there is. I actually am running out of maple syrup back in New York. So I kinda wanna get a bottle of that and then also grab some lunch to go. should come here to Carousel Bakery and get the pea meal bacon on a bun. I think it's, yeah, I think it's supposed to be super famous. Now, it doesn't look anything too special, but if they say I need to get it, then maybe I need to get it. Yeah. Just get one. maple syrup here and what's not. I assume this is good. It says it's from Quebec. God, I just don't want to be tricked. We are back now and I'm gonna do a little taste test of the pea meal bacon. What it is exactly, I'm not sure. I just thought that it was a must get. So let's see. Okay, it's like a soft sandwich bun with Slices of, ooh, it's Canadian bacon. It's not American bacon, so it looks like this. Remember how it's like not super fatty? And then some honey mustard. I'm gonna try it just on its own right now. Mmm, it's good. I do, I do see how it needs sauce though, but Not bad. I would have to say though that the St. Lawrence Market was a little bit underwhelming. We walked around and there was like fresh produce and a lot of bakeries, but not really a lot of places selling like ready to go food, which, which was what I was hoping because I wanted to get some lunch and come back here to the apartment to eat at work. So instead we stopped by like another um, lunch place. It was like one of those places in like a mall where there's like different a food court there you go a food court and i got this amazing salad like filled with a bunch of good stuff for only 12 canadian dollars which means that in us dollars it's like nine or ten dollars i mean it has so much good stuff it has farro it has sweet potatoes spicy chickpeas broccoli and tabbouleh and some lentils as well so that's what i'm gonna have for lunch i'm gonna enjoy this on the balcony because i feel like i haven't gotten a chance to like fully embrace our balcony view yet so yeah, I'm gonna sit out on the balcony and have this. I am here during my lunch checking out a museum at the Harborfront Center and it's called the Power Plant Museum. They have different exhibitions all the time and uh, it's free which is why I'm here because I don't like paying for museums. There's also a really, really cool view of the CN Tower up there. Um, this place is, was only like a six minute walk from the apartment, so I'm gonna come and just check it out, um, see what they have going on.
for our last dinner in Toronto. Well, we're actually going back to Markham, which is going to be about a 45 minute drive right now because there's a little bit of traffic since it's 6 p.m. But um, we decided that we want to go to this mall, which has a really cool food court full of really cheap, authentic eats specifically Chinese food specifically Cantonese food and we want to check it out and we also want to get some Asian dessert around the area y'all know how much I love Asian food I put so much I eat so much Asian food on my channel and I vlog it all the time and it's just like 80% of my diet is Asian food and I love it so we're gonna go and get that we're here Pacific Mall in Markham Oh gosh, these Asian food courts are the best. Let's go. You're looking at this tough place. That's what I was looking at. What is it? It's a famous Taiwanese um, chicken, chicken, how do you say G pie? How do you say G pie? Original large fried chicken. Yeah. But, um, I don't know yet. Let's keep, I'm gonna keep looking first. Looks like it's dry pot. You can make your own or you can like add your own ingredients. I see konjac jelly, tofu, dry tofu skin, bamboo, lotus fruit. Yeah. They have Hong Kong style tea, which I love. I think I'm gonna get the lemon tea. Mm. Which drink do you want? Quick tip in here that we've noticed is that they usually only accept cash or debit. So thank goodness we have some cash with us. Otherwise, we don't we can't use our debit card because we're in an international territory. Technically. So make sure you bring some cash over here. I've also noticed that there's not a lot of people here right now because it's 7 p.m. and they close at 8. So everyone's kind of wrapping up, but I think an hour is enough time for us to eat. All right, my friends, we have our entire spread here of bomb ass food. I'm so excited. First dish, we have dry pot, mala dry pot. We have a bunch of spam, sausages, dried tofu, seaweed, all the good stuff. Next up, we have this potato noodle soup. And um, I think this one's just like a spicy one and it has egg, fish balls. Again, all the good stuff. Then we got a very classic Hong Kong snack, curry fish balls. Would you like to do the honor of trying one? Yeah. All right, show them what you got in there. This is Taiwanese, it's a G pie. Yeah, and this is an actual like store in Taiwan, started in Taiwan. And if you take out the chicken, the chicken is usually as big as your face. So, and then for drinks, we got Hong Kong lemon tea and passion fruit juice or tea with boba balls. Yummy. Hello everyone, we are currently checked out of our Airbnb and we're trying to find a brunch spot that allows outdoor seating and for Pika because we have him with us obviously so we have to sit outside. Um, I'm not quite sure where we are but it's a very very beautiful and colorful neighborhood and it looks like there's a lot of Indian restaurants around and supermarkets and dessert places and boutiques so Oh, so this is actually where we are. We are Gerard and Ashdell Avenue. This is where we are. Super cool that this neighborhood exists. It's kind of like a little India, I think, which I've actually never been to somewhere like this before. But yeah, it's a little gloomy today, unfortunately. So I don't think we have much planned after this, except for to go to Ottawa, um, which is our next destination before we go back home to New York City. But first, let's go get something to eat and walk around this beautiful, vibrant neighborhood.
jelly, coffee jelly, lychee jelly, I think.